Hey folks, my name is Ben and this is Moria Speedruns, show number 104. And we're starting a new character, so who knows, right? Well, we gotta pick a race and a class and away we go. I was thinking, uh, I'm thinking this game, the next character that works anyway, I want to uh, skip the uh, see invisible step and go straight to 1250 for gain stat potions. That's what I'm thinking. Probably die, but hey, skip a whole step, huh? Anyway, let's play the game. Uh, let's check out this tool of advertising. Nothing on it. <laughs> and here is the setup. Let's spin the wheel of source code. Okay, here we go. And the function is sleep monster. How does sleep monster work? 45 lines long, yikes. Bit of a long one. There's a bunch of different kinds of sleep monsters. So I think it was just sleep monster, sleep a creature. So you give it a direction and you give it, I guess, your position. So this business here is moving Y and X uh, in the direction. That's why there's their pointers being passed in. So it moves Y and X gets modified as this loop goes forward. And this loop goes forward until flag or while until flag is true. All right. So so this is a, a, a targeted sleep monster. So we've targeted it with like a wand or something. And it can only go so far. It can go as far as bolt range or the pointer or, or the, the tile that it's on is a wall. Flag equals true means stop the loop. If at any time we happen to have a creature on that cave pointer, right? Then we go about trying to sleep it. M pointer is the uh, is the instance of the monster. R pointer is sorry, yeah, the type of the monster. So M is the instance and R is the type. Flag equals true. I mean, we're going to stop the loop after this. We found something, so it doesn't go through monsters. It stops at the first monster. We describe the monster. Now, finally, we do the roll. We roll dice for uh, max mons level. I think that's 40, 40 or 50. And our pointer level is its level. So it might be level eight or something. Huh. Notice how it doesn't depend on our ability. It depends on the ability of uh, just the monster. So, yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Huh. Uh, some monsters can't be slept. So if you can't do it... Oh, this is this, this first chunk is if you can't do it. That makes more sense now. Because uh, larger, uh, tougher creatures have a higher level. So that means it's less likely. Alright. Or it doesn't get slept at all ever, like a jelly or something. This is the recall bit. You just have to remember that you saw it does not sleep. And then you say the blank is unaffected. Print it out. Otherwise, we sleep it for 500 turns. It's not a variable amount. It's going to be 500 turns every time. And it says the blank falls asleep. And that is the whole function. Sleep monster of spells.c in the GMORIA sources. Now let's play the game. We're doing it. We're doing it, folks. The uh, message thing here at the bottom. I didn't take this case into account where there is no game. There's no game. So there's no messages. We're going to start a game right now. Let's see which race. Let's go human this time. I don't think we played a human. Uh, I've chosen a female character before. Let's go male. Um, I don't know. I guess we need, hmm, strength controls how much we carry, constitution controls your hit points, 
Dexterity is a tough one to max out. So... So I don't know what to, you know, we can hit spacebar a bunch of times. That one's not bad. Charisma's low, which doesn't really matter. Want to keep that one? Sure. Escape, you are... Okay, this is the only time you can read this. You are one of several children of a serf. You are a well-liked child. Huh? You have dark brown eyes, straight red hair, what? And a dark complexion. Huh. Uh, I've never seen that kind of person before. <laughs> That's a weird one. Let's go Ranger. Uh, name? You know what? I have a crazy uh, system here that shows me random names. I'm going to have to look up the key command, though. I never use it. Custom. Where are you? Down at the bottom? Display random name. Shift control alt 2. Orifer. Good enough. Orifer. It's a weird kind of name. Here we are. Okay. First thing you do is you start wearing your stuff because you don't want to die in the town. Look at your gold, and now I have to buy stuff. So we do. Don't get attached to Orifer, folks. He, uh, he probably won't last. Uh, a, uh, a shovel is awesome. Oh, and it's there. Awesome. And we have to actually haggle. All right, that's step one. We have a money-making tool. Step two, buy all the AC we can. Uh, the cheap stuff, let's go with the boots. There's that. Got some gloves. All right, wear that. Doing okay, huh? Um, isn't it always supposed to have suitable armor? If I buy hard leather armor, is it going to slow me down? It'd be such a waste of money. Hmm. Ah, let's try it. I think it's going to slow us down. No, it's good. Let's buy that cap. For our head. It's round like your head. Look at that. AC of 14 out of the gate. Now I need something to hit people with. Hit me. <laughs> uh, where's the Holy Avenger when you need it? Well, we couldn't afford it anyway. Um, small sword is perfect, but it's expensive. Um, might have to just stick with the dagger, folks. Nothing on that page. No dice. Yeah, no dice there. I'll have to wait and hold off. Hmm. Well... How about uh, we put on our shovel and we had to do the dungeon for the first time. Here we are. This is where we die. We'll probably die right here. <laughs> so let's do it. It's all about that first kill. It's so impossible. Got our dagger in hand. One die four. No light. Now there's light. You can die just by stepping on a trap. Let's get to the outside of the map. Uh-oh, our first kill. Uh, where can we run? One. Oh, we got him. Free money. Ooh, what's that? 
we'll have no idea because everything is un unidentified. And in case you're wondering, a tangerine potion in this run is not the same as something is invisible and touching us. You know what I'm saying. It's different every time, folks. We have slain it. Look at us with our 15 hit points. Kicking ass and taking names. Slime mold, we'll eat that right now. Easy pickings. Wanna go down again? We're down at 100 feet. <laughs> How to die <laughs> in Moria. Wow, level two. How to die in Moria, go, go deeper too early. Sure way to die. Well, you just pick up all the stuff. It's a downright, it's like a treasure romp. Look, we're at 20 hit points. All right, something's invisible. Ooh, yeah. All right, this is pretty easy. Until we die, because <laughs> we can't find stairs. Or doors. What is going on? Are we that clueless? Come on. It's a long way back. Is there a door right here? There's a door here. Are we in a special room at 100 feet? No, we're not. That's impossible. All right. Good stuff. There's no sense in looking at anything because uh, we don't know, except for that, don't need a broken dagger. It's a treasure romp to start off. Twenty-four, we leveled up. Level three. Ah, oh, we're moving slower. Lots of wands and stuff. I'm not trying any of it. I'm selling it all, folks. Down again. How to Die in Moria by Ben. Go down deep too early. I'm demonstrating. <laughs> How's he going to get back? He's not. <laughs> oh, that make me laugh. There's no getting back if you go too deep because we don't have the scroll of, you know what, word of recall. Level four, we're leveling up, but we won't have light. Let's do it again. <laughs> 200 feet. Okay, now it's just getting dumb. Oh, that makes me laugh because we're going to die. <laughs> but at least it's an entertaining way to go. You know what? I didn't buy food. Do I start out with food? I have five rations of food. Okay, good. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Start your... To play Moria, to not have a clue that you even need food. <laughs> you go down the dungeon and you starve every time. <laughs> Great game. Or you have to go to the bathroom or you die. <laughs> And you can't go to the bathroom unless you buy toilet paper. I could write a funny roguelike. You die of dysentery. 
<laughs> okay. Is this funny or am I just, you know, that's funny. Oh, no, we'll take the upstairs if we can find them. Oh, no. Hitting them with her dagger. The robe can't be good. Not for anybody. Not at any time. I wonder if there's a version of Moria where the robe was good. back to the teleport room. Where are the stairs? Should clean that guy up before we leave him alone. I smell stairs over here somewhere. Look at all this stuff. The wooden torch will leave it. it Cast a spell. We're afraid we can't hit him. Let's aim one of these wands. How about the nickel plated? Heal monster. Well, that's bad. I did that. Get rid of the heal monster. Let's dig out our first bit of ore. There's a Bilbo thrusting sword. Let's just put it on. Not cursed. This is easy. What an easy game, eh? Until I can't get back to the town. Not a bad start, though. Let's try another wand. How about J? Is it in the wall or something? Don't know. These guys are tough. I've lost most of my hit points. I gotta watch that. Money. 16. What am I going to do? Run. I have a wand. Magic missile. It misses me. Isn't that nice? It misses me. Alright. Dump the wand right into him. Got him. Rest. Alright. We're resting. It's still hitting us. Where is it? What did it say? You resist the effects. He's in the damn walls, folks. Isn't that the plot of many movies? This might take a while. Ah, oh, we got through. A 
Shouldn't we be rewarded with some stairs? Or at least a secret door right about here. There you go. Us and our thrusting sword. Bilbo, one die six. He's tough, eh? Twenty. Got him. Stairs? No. No stairs. So, are we gonna die or what? Light is growing faint. We can die that way too. Just no light. You don't really die, but it makes things more difficult so that you end up dying. Let's go back there and check out that little nook. guys hit heavy. Ugh. Bad move, Ben. He leveled up again. I was hitting him with the shovel. That was... That's what was going wrong. Ugh. Hey, stairs. Can we make our way back? Can't find secret doors, I know that. Very sick. What's he worth? Two points. Another way we can die pretty easily. Subsumed by multiplied creatures. Ooh, more. Can't have enough money, folks. Not a more. Well, you can. Yes, and more. We saw it in the last game. Stairs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Can we 
we do it? I've got to focus on one. We can't do it. Bring out the magic missiles. Missed. At least we have stairs nearby. If we have to run, no charges left. Ah! Uh. Let's just run. Close the door behind us. Stuck. It means we can't close it. We can close that one though. Hundred feet. Long stairs. Pick up everything, sell it all, folks. He lost money. He lost more money. And he ran away. See, over here, he's down here. That is not the bandit. Gotta watch the hit points. Is he over here? No. Is he over here? Stairs? Oh, there he is. He's not giving us a break. Hit him with a magic missile. And he zapped himself away again. Here he is again, but he doesn't give us any space. Screw him. We lost a good chunk of change to him. And it's gone. Well, we're out of time. I gotta find the darn stairs. Oh man. Got him. Alright, I'm gonna drop those pebbles. Alright. Well, folks, I'm gonna keep playing and, uh,. Yeah, I'm going to try to find the next, the last set of stairs to go back up to the town. All right. Yeah, then I'll do a little bit of extra time. All right, found the stairs, folks. Still alive. Level 7. 50 experience points to go. I'm going to sell some stuff. The store has room to sell three things. I don't know what the price of a dagger is. Maybe let's say five. Dagger for a bodkin, let's say 10. Gotta make the money. I know a club is only one. All right, next, let's go sell those scrolls. Gotta watch who I run into in the town. Sell. You know what? Yeah, I guess we can sell. So that one, I forget how to do this. Start out at 23, is it? What do you start out at? 25? Yeah, 11. Identify, that was a good one. Let's 
nice to get all these things known. Anyway, this is what I'm doing. All right, we're back down in the dungeon. We identified a bunch of stuff. We kept some of the things that we could, things that are useful, the doubles, right? Got a flask of oil that we won't throw away until we find a, uh, a lantern. That's how it works. Yeah, going pretty good, gotta say. Gonna play a little bit more. Hey, we found a lantern. Let's wear that sucker and fill it up with oil. Beauty. Well, I guess we can drop that anyway. We'll keep the torches just in case. And you know what? I'd really like to get a uh, word of recall. I have just enough gold. So I can just go straight down. Word of recall, not there. Word of recall, not there. Huh. Is it hiding and I'm not seeing it? It's really not there. Huh. How about more oil for the old lantern? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, I'll head back down. Uh, it's, it is there. I'm just blind. Got it. Woohoo! Full. Folks, we have three hit points left. I wasn't paying attention. This brigand is confused. And we should quaff Cure Light Wounds at least. I wasn't paying attention. Just trying to hit him while he's confused. You know? Anything else we can do? No. Just confuse them while we rest up, I guess. Unaffected. This isn't good. Read phase door. Thank goodness for phase door. Rest. All right, let's go get him. There he is. We oh, there goes our get out of jail free card. He's stealing everything we have. This brigand is way out of its uh, depth. But he can't recharge his batteries. And we can. Here he comes. Wand of Confuse Monster. Confuse. He's not that confused. Got him. Level 8. What's he worth? 43 points. He's way out of depth at 50 feet. Wow. Hokey smokey. He took everything we had. <laughs> everything that wasn't nailed down. And then, of course, you kill him and it's gone. He doesn't have it anymore. All right, we're going to leave it there, folks. Level 8. Not bad. Cool. All right, let's check out the charts. All right, let's see the charts. Orifer. Huh. All right. I wonder how big that jump is at the end with the bandit. Boom. Out of depth, that's what that does. 250's our lowest depth. Very adventurous. Hit points jumped up too there at the end. Because of the level up. But wow, that was a close call I didn't even realize. We are level 8. Uh, armor class doing alright. Uh, gold pieces. Just up and up and up, hopefully. Score went down. Why did the score go down? I, if you know, oh, because we had a pack full of stuff. That's what that is. Our strength got dwindled. It'll be dwindled forever now because it's so expensive to fix. Um, yeah, what can you say? Went up eight levels in one show. In no time at all. 
Yeah. I never know what to think about that. Minus one to hit. So it makes it hard for us to hit with our Bilbo sword. Thrusting sword Bilbo. Ah, oh, shield is crappy. That's what's going on. Got splashed. All right. So you can see we don't quite make the top 10 on anything. Being only level eight. Oh, we made a top 10, 289. But we're not better than any, any other uh, player. Highest level, level eight, baby. Here we come. 106 kills already? Wow. No dragons. <laughs> Uh, 65s are high set points, better than morale, and Mor Mor morale was a mage, and morale had uh, 64 hit points after four hours of play. We're only at 40 minutes. All right, we beat a couple of uh, Lurgmog and Luzgar. Beat those two guys, but they didn't play for very long. On the AC. All right, I'll be picked up 37. Gold, not on the top 10. High scores. We're on the board of 1508. So, where do we go from here? It's not plugged in. I'll just tell you. Um, what's that doing there? Uh, I said off the top I wanted to skip the invisible, see invisible stage and go right to 1250. I think I want to keep trying to do that. Um, so yeah, get to 1250 as soon as possible. Buy a whack load of uh, phase doors. You know, get out of jail free cards. Yeah, and try to stay alive at 1250, even if we have to like not attack a lot of things. But we'll just keep picking up potions, picking up potions as soon as we can. Yeah, but then we'll run out of money. Well, who knows? That's the plan. That's that's the modified plan. There's the five gates or so. You gotta get your seam visible, you gotta gain your stats, you gotta get your speed item, at least one. You gotta get your Holy Avenger, and you gotta get your uh, potions of invulnerability. Five things. Okay. Yeah, so get to 1250 as soon as possible. That's what we're gonna try to do. Until next time, I hope I'm enjoying hope you're enjoying your game. Alright, see ya. Bye bye.